Hello guys, uh, here is Felipe again. In today's video, I am going to explain to you the main differences between the ARC port and the eARC port. Okay, there is a lot of differences and limitations between each other and I'm going to exp explain to you on details. Okay, but before that, please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot to bring new content for you. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, so just to make a brief the introduction, uh, on the last video that I sent, uh, that I uploaded on YouTube, I was explaining the, the best configuration to have the best sound from your PS5 into your soundbar or AV receiver. And I received a lot of comments, a lot of questions uh, uh, about the, how to configure the soundbars uh, on the correct way but soundbars that only supported ARC ports, for example, okay? So I try to explain the limitations and that stuff, so, but it's better to bring this video to you that is more, is more detailed, okay? So here on this template that you can see here on the screen, uh, here is the main difference between each other. So for example, the AGMI ARC, you can see the HMI ARC only supports stereo sound and compressed audios. For example, compressed Dolby Digital or DTS, it's supported with the HMI ARC part. Okay? If you're searching to have the uncompressed sound or uncompressed Dolby Atmos, uh, DTS X, Dolby True HD or DTH HD, you're not, you not going to be able to have this kind of sound using uh, a soundbar that, that supports only AGMI ARC, okay? Or even a, a Navy receiver. You're not going to have this kind of sound, just like uncompressed or uh, Dolby Atmos and stuff, okay? And why you can't do that, that with a simple AGMI ARC? Because the AGMI ARC only supports a maximum audio bandwidth of one megabyte per second, okay? This is the limitation. You can try to, to play some content with this audio, with uncompressed or Dolby Atmos or that stuff, but you have to know that the audio is being sent compressed to your soundbar. It's not really Dolby Atmos, it's not really uncompressed, okay? Just to explain that to you. In the other hand, if you have a soundbar that supports AGMI eARC, you can see here that with the AGMI eARC, the maximum bandwidth is 37 megabytes per second. You know? So here's a big difference. One megabyte per second with the HMI ARC and with the eARC is 37, meg 37 megabytes per second. With 37 megabytes per se second, you can play anything, any kind of audio, any, t any type of audio. Dolby Atmos DTSX, uncompressed 7.1, uncompressed 5.1. Okay, that is the main differences. So you just need to know if you have a soundbar that supports eARC, you can play, you can set on your PS5, for example, the LPCM audio to have 7.1 sound uncompressed. Okay, and if you have a soundbar that only supports AGMI ARC port, then you have to set on your PS5 as Dolby Digital Compressed or DTS Compressed, okay? That's the only way to, to have this kind of sounds with the AGMI ARC and the AGMI eARC part, okay? So that's it, guys. I hope that I explained to you the main differences between each other. And please, like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.